This is Ince, and this is Giggs. Irwin. They try it the other way with Parker. It was Sinclair who came to meet him, Kanchelskis. Chelsea's line holding firm, but it's going to come back to Irwin. Keane. Parker. Cantona coming short. Jonsson comes with him, he finds Ince. Away by Sinclair. Now then, can Manchester United maintain the momentum? It's Parker sliding it through to Cantona. Here comes Hughes, he slipped at the crucial moment. But here's Irwin. Keane. Giggs. They're just starting to build something here, United, it would seem. Irwin. Oh! Oh! Eddie Newton on Dennis Irwin. A penalty in the cup final. Dennis Irwin brought down by Eddie Newton on the hour, and Manchester United have a penalty. Well, all the Chelsea players all put their hands on the head when the tackle went in. Look at that. What a... I mean, he's had such a good game, Eddie Newton, right in front of David Ellery. No alternative but to point to the spot. And what a vital moment. Well, the United players are looking at uh, the, their injured colleague, but it's Cantona, I think, who'll take it. He's put the ball on the spot, and this will be interesting, won't it? The first Frenchman in a cup final against the first Russian goalkeeper in a cup final. And the last two penalties at Wembley in FA Cup Finals have been saved. Dave Besant and Mark Crossley. But can Eric Cantona make his mark on the biggest occasion in the English game? Or can Kareem? a practice ground penalty he just stroked it in the corner and sent Karim the wrong way and with this goal the Premiership champions take the lead in the FA Cup final poor Eddie Newton well I've got two observations to make about the penalty in a moment but the game is moving so fast there's no time it's Steen he's gone past Bruce Burley coming in far side oh it was too long the cross I just wanted to make a point about David Ellery's positioning on that penalty, Trevor. He was virtually standing within a yard of the incident. I know it was an obvious penalty, but it was an excellent piece of an example to all referees as to where they should be when the play is in that area of the pitch. But it just only highlights at the moment what an outstanding match he's had. He's kept control superbly and let the game flow when, it, when it's needed it. Oh, they're struggling here. It's Kanchelskis in. Oh, he's given another one. Sinclair. Kanchelskis, a second penalty to Manchester United. Well, I can't recall this happening in a cup final before. Sinclair charges Kanchelskis down, and within a matter of minutes, two penalty kicks to the same side. David Ellery wasn't as close this time, but he had no doubts. Chelsea are protesting. Well, I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Because I can't agree with that decision. Uh... The linesman, who was in a much better position, did not signal the penalty. David Ellery, who was 30 yards behind him and couldn't have seen the, the incident as clearly as the linesman, gave the penalty himself. And I must say, I thought it was the wrong decision. If anything, it was, a, it was actually obstruction outside the area initially when they made contact. Well, we'll try. Well, obviously, we will see it again when the penalty has been taken, uh, Trevor. Not for a moment, of course. Chelsea have made their protest long and loud. They agree with Trevor Brooking. He agrees with them. We'll see, but it's Cantona in another battle of wits against Dimitri Karim. And again, it's 2-0. And Eric Cantona, and look at Glenn Hoddle, he's got the tracksuit off now. Eric Cantona creates some sort of cup final record, stroking in two penalties, this time 
the alleged offender is Sinclair but all sorts of things are happening now this is how he took the second one and really it was just like the first one he tucked it away in that corner and Kareen who must have thought well he's going to change his mind this time and he didn't Mills yes Mark Hughes again the Wembley Warrior makes it 3-0 and surely now the double is secure. And this time, oh dear me, you've got to feel sorry there for Sinclair. But Hughes now, what a record he's created. Four big Wembley occasions in one season. He's scored in all of them. Surely he's come. Oh, look at this now. He's onside, Cantona. He was in his own half. And can, can he complete the hat trick here against Kareen? And he rolls it the wrong side of the post. And you start to wonder how many Manchester United might score. It's that linesman this side who was so near to that second penalty decision. He didn't put his flag up. It was David Ellery that made the choice. Great ball by Hoddle to Steen there, though. This is Wise. Hoddle is coming in from the far side himself. And there's the early header by Peacock. And Peter Schmeichel makes from Peacock perhaps his best save of the afternoon. He had to. Here's Spencer. Cascarino. Oh, little ball in, Dennis Wise. Oh. Well, he might well have pulled one back there, the Chelsea captain. That's a great move. Uh, built right and down in front of us here. A flowing move down the left-hand side. Cascarino, good first touch into Dennis Wise and had goal written all over it, but perhaps that just sums up the afternoon for poor Chelsea. They couldn't put the ball in the net despite their good approach play. Chelsea still at it, that's Newton floating it for Cascarino, two unmarked in the middle, surely now, there's the shot on the turn by Spencer, and Schmeichel has reserved his best work, or well, it's been reserved for him until the last few minutes. Corner again, played short, Hoddle. Now Cantona, now he's got players joining him, one of them is Mark Hughes, now two to the left, oh, and onside, Paul Ince for Manchester United, can he finish it here, Ince, oh, and selfish, Brian McClare! What a wonderfully unselfish piece of play by Paul Ince of Manchester United and England to put this smile on the face of the manager to give McClare the chance to score and to confirm that Manchester United have won the double. Out came Kareen, round him went in, he saw Clark was there, so he just rolled it back, and McClare accepts the greatest gift of all, an open goal in a cup final. It's 4-0, Trevor. Well, rubbing salt in the wood there, Manchester United, because Chelsea so close a couple of times at the other end, although they probably feel now that they could be playing until Sunday morning, still not be able to get the ball in the net. Goes up the other end, Eddie Newton tries to play the offside. The linesman said when the ball was played, it wasn't. And Paul Lentz sets up Brian McClare for his goal. Here they go again, it's Hughes. We're well into stoppage time, as you can see. Fourth minute, in fact. And uh, Hughes has gone down injured. And there it is. The achievement is nearly unique. The praise is nearly unanimous. The double is definitely Manchester United. The sixth club to achieve this remarkable feat.